Welcome to the Nightly Rant with your hosts, Mike and Toria. This is the show where we examine society from a sarcastic point of view. If you like insane conversations, this is definitely the show for you. Let's get into today's topic. YPN people, I don't know about you, but I love helping out a friend. That's why I want to shout out my friend Brian Little and his podcast, Your Favorite Blockhead. This is the only show that manages to weave together peanuts and MMA into one heck of an amazing podcast. You can find your favorite blockhead wherever your favorite podcasts reside and at yourfavoriteblockhead.com. Do me a huge favor and listen to Brian's show. You'll be entertained and you'll help out a friend. Now, as I said, let's get into today's topic. Father-in-law then got up and told us both we were being rude and disrespectful to mother-in-law as she spent tons of money and time preparing for this barbecue. Spouse grabbed our things and we left after a few more choice words with their parents. Our phones have been blowing up nonstop. Some people agreeing that mother-in-law was overreacting. Others think I should have eaten what I could out of politeness or eaten before I came. I'm torn and upset. I did not mean to cause drama, and I'm hurt that spouse is arguing with their parents. I did not mean to offend mother-in-law and certainly not ruin a barbecue. Am I the asshole for bringing my own food to mother-in-law's barbecue? You want to know what I think about this? <laughs> yes, that's a whole Is point. that what you want to know? Yeah. What I think about this? Yeah. yeah. Hell no, she's not the asshole. Who's the, the asshole? asshole is the mother-in-law. The mother-in-law is a huge asshole. Because, let's be real, whether you believe in food allergies or you do not believe in food allergies, it's safer to trust the words of the person saying they have a food allergy. Period. The end. Whether you believe they exist or not. Dude. Do you agree with that part? I 100% agree. Okay. So, by by virtue of that, at that point, you can't just dismiss what the person says. Oh, I have an allergy to that. Oh, yeah, right. There's no such thing as food allergy. No. You don't get away with that crap. No, you don't. You don't get away with that. You either change what you're making for your barbecue to accommodate this person, or you don't bitch when they bring their own food. Well, that's the part that really makes them not the asshole. She is, seems like she's tried to accommodate her psycho waited, mother-in-law. She waited for years. You heard what they said. 22 years. 22 years of not being able to eat at family gatherings. 22 years. And not just Thanksgiving. Family gatherings. Uh-huh. Because mother-in-law just ignores when you say you have a food allergy. Mother-in-law right. psycho like that. So that's why I say it's mother-in-law's fault. The whole thing. It's all on her shoulders. Hundred damn percent on you know, her shoulders. Now I'm going to tell you a funny story. Funnier than that? So I know somebody. All right. You know somebody. Whose mother-in-law did not believe that they were lactose intolerant. Hold on, hold on. The mother-in-law didn't believe that the person you know was lactose intolerant, or the Correct. mother-in-law didn't believe that she herself was the lactose intolerant? The person I know. Okay. So it's a very similar situation to this. Okay. However, well, because the way you worded it at first, it sounded like possibly the mother-in-law was not believing that the mother-in-law was lactose intolerant. And I was like, the mother in law didn't believe not the daughter-in-law that? was lactose intolerant? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. And so she decided to test it once, the mother-in-law, on Thanksgiving. <gasps> Oh, no. And tell did me not she didn't tell sneak her. milk in there or something. He did not tell her that there was milk in a couple oh, of different things. No. And then the person I know oh. absolutely destroyed the bathroom. The bathroom is done. Destroyed the bathroom. <laughs> the smell ruined dessert. <laughs> oh, yeah. That serves her right, though, see? It does. It's true. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> Did she believe in food allergies after that? She believed in other food allergies. She just thought the person I know was lying to her about the lactose intolerance. That's interesting. Because yeah. that's that's a bit more like, that's a bit crazier than just, <laughs> oh, I, you know, I think all y'all are lying. Right. But it's a specific person lying. That's a trip. Anyway, yeah. I think that. The person who brought the food handled it because they waited. They waited. I mean, come on. 
who's going to say they didn't wait long enough when they waited 22 years? So oh, after being that patient, they were like, you know, there's only one reason I'm miserable at these family gatherings. Only one reason. And that's because I've ne I never have anything to eat. So I think I'm going to solve right. that. You know, I've made the request over and over and over again, and she seems to not want to do it. Right. So rather than continuing to nag at her, I'm just going to bring my own food, and I'll eat that. And I'll be very discreet about it. So Right. It's not like she, she was rude about it. She didn't, like, it's not bust like she it out. it out on yeah, the she table. she didn't, like, bust it out on the table and let everybody see. She very casually, you know, filled her plate and then put it back under the seat. I think the only thing she could possibly have done, maybe better that would have not made the situation quite as aggressive is had she brought like a platter sized serving of what she brought for herself to eat so that everyone could have some and she looked like she was contributing to the barbecue yeah that might have been the only thing she could have done that might have not made the mother-in-law act like a fucking psycho yeah you're right that's probably the only imperfection in the way that she handled it right there that was the only imperfection that's the if if I were to have to talk to this person and make a suggestion of maybe try this next time, that's what I would suggest. Yeah. But I don't think it'll work anyway. I think the mother in law is too much of a psycho at this point. So yeah. The mother in law's the asshole, huh? And the father in law's the secondary asshole. Yes, because he you know I have to debate. Whether, whether I would say that for real, because was he really an asshole or was he only being an asshole because he had to be in order to defend his wife? Did he really have to stand up and defend his wife? I think I think that man owes that to his wife. Eh. I think defending his wife against his own child it might be unnecessary. Because it was his child and his child's spouse. But an attack is an attack. Eh. I mean... Eh. I mean, you could go either way on that one, when, I think. When you tell someone, I've got your back, that pretty much means you're always going to be right there with them when All they're right. in battle. So we'll agree to disagree on the father-in-law. So I got your back, you know? However, the spouse of the original poster gets a fucking medal, causing an outright war with his family to defend, to defend his, his spouse. spouse. A plus good sir or man. Yeah. Since it didn't specify yeah. in the... Well, that's the point. It could post. be a man and a man. It could be a woman and a woman. Right. It could be a man and a woman. I mean, who knows? Yeah. The whole point is that the story is like gender neutral. Who, who cares? Well, that's why I said sir or man. It's kind of rad, you know? It's a rad example because it can be literally anybody in any couple. Uh-huh. But yeah. I think it's cool that there's a connection there from them to... You and me. Uh -huh. But I also think it's weird that there's a connection. So one thing I wanted to say is like these episodes here are going to be kind of short but sweet. Um, Because unless there's this real controversial topic, which in this one, I feel like we both felt the hundred percent. Like we, we, we had nothing to discuss. We, on we only differed on father-in-law. Yeah. And I think, and I think it comes down to, That interaction right there, like how that interaction goes with you and the other side. If it's smooth, eh, anything's possible. Right. But if it's if it's rocky, you're going to put the guard up and you're going to side with whomever that person has as an enemy. Right. It's just going to be a natural thing to do. The moral so, of the story is. It's all about that interaction. You original poster are not the asshole. Definitely not. Zero Definitely percent. not. And I was saying that these segments are about, you know, maybe 10 to 15 minutes long. And we're going to explore these posts that are from there. And we will um, include the image from wherever it came from in the uh, show notes. Image? You mean link? Well, in the image that shows the little screen. Okay. You'll see. You'll get it. Um, but there's that. There's that issue. You know, they have to. We're not on board with each other. 
That's that's the big issue. There's there's no issue. We're on board with each other. You're going to include the link slash image, DMI the asshole post in the show notes. So yes. if and you're listening I, if, to this, if you look guys, at the show notes. And if you guys really like this, you know, let make sure you do download because that'll count and then we'll know it was really successful and we can then maybe I don't know branch off and do these on a regular basis. So yeah, let us know if you so liked let it. Let us know how you liked it. And, you know, if you want to send an email, info at yogispodcastnetwork.com, info at yogispodcastnetwork.com. And with that, good night, everyone. Hasta la bye-bye. Thank you for listening to The Nightly Rant. If you enjoyed the show, please give us a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts or Google Play. If you didn't enjoy the show... Please just ignore that previous request for a rating. This has been a Yogi's Podcast Network production.